A Jesuit high school junior is getting a special honor at the White House. Megan Arau was one of 30 students allowed to show off their science projects as part of the White House Science Fair. The president looked at several projects, including Megana's. She works with a kind of charcoal known as biochar and studies how well it stores carbon. To be here today has been super, super, super fun and exciting, and I can't believe I'm here almost. Well, congratulations to Megana. Her trip to D.C. comes on the same day. A group that she helped found, it's called the Portland Junior Scientists, officially became incorporated by law firm Ader Wynn. The group connects high school students with underprivileged children by using science experiments. So she's already doing a lot wow. of good works with her wow. science background. She's, she's on several levels. Pretty impressive. She's founding groups. She's shaking hands with the president. <laughs> To do my research, I first made my biochar out of Douglas fir chips and hazelnut shells. 
I made my biochar in a toplet updraft stove, a five gallon stove that I built. And this stove model is currently being implemented into rural Costa Rican villages because it burns cleanly and can be cooked on top of while making biochar. I also had biochar made at 370 degrees Celsius, 500 degrees Celsius, and 620 degrees Celsius. After I made all my biochar samples, I crushed them down to two particle sizes of 63 to 250 micrometers and 250 to 2,000 micrometers. Then, I evaluated the stability through the tests I came up with. So my goal was to understand how biochar degrades and how it reacts to intense physical and chemical weathering. My goal was to replicate physical and chemical weathering in the soil over a long period of time. To do this, I did a physical stability and a chemical stability test. For my physical stability test, I ultrasonicated the biochar while it was in water at increasing energy inputs and measured the amount of carbon being lost and leached into the water. For my chemical stability test, I did a chemical oxidation using hydrogen peroxide over the course of 70 hours. Physical stability of biochar is not dependent on feedstock or particle size. Rather, that biochar is inertly very physical, physically stable. For example, after the 30 minutes of ultrasonication, all biochars have lost less than 0.25% of the total carbon, irrespective of feedstock or particle size. My chemical stability results uh, were affected by feedstock and particle size. For example, the Douglas fir chars lost less mass overall than the hazelnut chars, showing greater stability. Also, at the higher temperatures of pyrolysis, the particle size was making a very significant difference. For example, the smaller particles were losing 10 to 25 percent more mass than the larger particles, showing that the larger particles were more stable, likely due to their smaller surface area. So from my research, I saw that controllable factors such as feedstock and particle size can be manipulated in order to optimize biochar's longevity and stability in the soil. Thank you so much for listening.